Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a walking tour of the Reverend T. Wendell Foster Park. Uh, the Reverend T. Wendell Foster Park used to be called Mullaney Park, but was renamed in 2001 as part of the initiative where the parks would recognize contributions by African Americans to our city and our city parks. Okay, as we begin, we're entering between 165th and 164th, where you'll find the main recreation center of the park. Uh, the recreation center actually has some indoor basketball courts and is actually host to one of the food pantries in the area. As you can see, they're setting up some food to give out. Uh, as one of the uh, local community parks, they make sure that uh, they can give out some food and help, you know, whichever way they can. Um, now, a little bit more on Reverend T. Wendell Foster. He, in 1978, he was the first African American elected to city government position in the Bronx County. As a council member of as a councilman of the 9th and eventually the 16th district during his 24 year uh, years of service he championed low-income housing and served as the chair of the parks committee okay as we keep walking well what you're seeing ahead is actually uh, the local uh, pool. It's open during the summer for uh, escaping those really hot summer days. And to the right, we have some basketball courts, some outdoor basketball courts. Now, before I give you more of a tour of this side of the park we're actually going to cross the street we're going to cross 165th to show you uh, the other portion of the park first during the summer you'll find a lot of uh, barbecuing and actual like celebrations happening in the park i've seen everything from birthday parties to graduation celebrations you know just families getting together enjoying the nice weather and the ability to be outside. Now once we cross 165th, we come to the other side of the park. Here you'll find uh, both two soccer pitches and two baseball fields along with uh, your typical New York City playground. Typically you'll find the soccer pitches are very busy on Saturday mornings. Here on the left, you'll see the first soccer pitch. Let me just keep walking down the path. The center of this park usually will have some greenery with some flowers and trees that blossom and cherry during the spring and summer. And you will always find lots of people walking and playing with their dogs. 
This is a very uh, dog friendly park and neighborhood. The rumbling you probably hear in the background is the four train as the park is right on river and the four train passes right along its side. Here we have the second soccer pitch. Uh, the soccer pitches use artificial turf if anyone's wondering. So cleats are not necessary for uh, enjoying a good time on them. The park is surrounded by residential buildings and a school on the north side. Here are the two playgrounds. At the far north end of the park, And as we turn around to head back the way we came, we'll come across the two baseball fields. These baseball fields will become more heavily used during the summertime as it is the time for baseball. You'll see a lot of uh, Little League games happening here. Now as we make our way back to the other side of the park, which is on the other side of 165th, you'll see as we start walking in that direction, the background is Yankee Stadium, just in case the uh, street address sounded familiar that I gave you. This park resides right behind the stadium. So if you ever catch a game and just wanna take a stroll afterwards during an afternoon game, this is a great place to do it. As we continue walking, I'm going to exit this portion of the park on the 165th and River. So we can cross back to the other side of the park. Again, there are the tracks for the uh, four train. Before we go back into the park, we're going to continue walking down River Avenue just so I can show you the entrance to the local pool. Again, the pool opens up during the summertime, so the local community has a place to refresh and cool off. Yeah, the entrance is situated between 164th and 165th on river. All right, now we're actually gonna head back this way. We're going to re-enter the portion of the park that has the recreation center.
Here's a little sign telling you a little bit about the uh, park itself. And just for anyone who's curious, uh, dogs are welcome. And this park does allow you to let your dog off leash from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. with, of course, knowing that you are responsible for monitoring your dog and picking up after your dog. All right, now let's go back inside. Here on the right, you can see the back of the recreation center. Again, this is where the food pantry will give out food on, I believe, Thursdays and has the indoor basketball courts. Then on the left, you can see the back of the outdoor pool and of the basketball courts, the outdoor basketball courts. Again, you can see we are right in the shadow of the Yankee Stadium. Now, as we continue walking this way, we're heading towards one of the features of this park that I find really cool. Now right here behind this stone covered building right next to the outdoor basketball courts you will find well besides the this is where the restrooms are for anyone who was wondering you're gonna find the Foster Park Skate Park uh, so this is one of those cool um, kind of community run areas where you will actually find uh, different both BMX and skaters doing tricks here at the shadow of Yankee Stadium. Uh, they do have an Instagram, which I'll post the link in the description where you can follow for when they actually host events and uh, you can sign up and uh, if you want to participate or if you just want to come and watch and uh, listen to some good music, see some cool tricks, this is the place to do it. All right. As you can see, currently nothing's happening in there, but at any given time, you'll find that it's open and in use. And finally, here on the corner of 164th and Jerome, you'll find another playground, has some swings and some interesting looking uh, structures for kids to play on. Uh, also, you'll find these benches here for anyone who wants to take, you know, a nice day to play some chess or checkers out in the park. Tables are ready, set up to go, and benches for just relaxing. Now we'll make our way out of the park. Thank you again for joining me on this quick uh, walking tour of the Reverend T. Wendell Foster Park. If you would actually like to see me uh, record or give you some footage of an actual event happening at the skate park just leave a comment below again like subscribe all those wonderful things and uh see you outside in the parks have a good day